Okay, so I just went ahead and did a farm together video. It was the regular, you know, get on, harvest everything. But I wanted to end the video a little short because I, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to get back on and uh, do uh, more of a moving around um, episode, kind of uh, decorating a little bit more and spending the time to do that because we don't normally get we don't have the time to do stuff like that especially with the um the summer harvest so i want to and that video that i recorded was already an hour and 20 minutes long so that one's uploading right now and i was recording this one just because i want to get some more work done on this farm i got a lot more ideas ready to go so i need to prep everything for it Um, also, later today, I'm going to be starting a new game. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is. I want it to be a surprise, but I'm going to be starting it uh, probably just after I upload this video. Or after I uh, finish this video and start uploading it. Um, it's, a, it's a really good game. It's one of my favorites of all time, I'd have to say. And uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot of content. It's a lot of... Uh, just learning and, and everything so it's a really big one i'm excited to play it it's by far one of my most played games on steam i think it's number two or three on my list of highest played games um so i'm not going to do too much going into uh those certain areas what i do want to do is i want to I kind of, what I what my plan was is I wanted to just basically move stuff around so going back down we started over here and I started messing a little bit more with the um, the vineyard, so I can go ahead and get rid of these squares. They're not necessary. Oh, I need to take care of those animals over there, matter of fact. Gotta get those mini Rex rabbits going. Let me go take care of them first, and then we'll get on to our main objective here. There is a guy mowing outside of my uh, house, so I apologize in advance if there's any sort of background background noise. I can, I can hear it through my headphones, so I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of noise coming through on the microphone, so I apologize about that. So the Dutch rabbits are moving along faster. Faster than the uh, mini Rex rabbits. They seem to take so long. So I forgot we got to get the fish, too. See, there's just always things to do in this game. There's a lot of work in this game. The bigger the farm gets, it's just more... That's why, like I said, eventually the, the farm's gonna get to a point where a lot of this stuff is decorative and doesn't actually get uh, harvested anymore. So that'll kind of change things too, because the whole farm's really gonna be different at that point. I'm gonna, I know for sure at that point I'm gonna have dedicated lands that are just for growing crop. So back to the vineyard. What I really wanted to look at was I really wanted to go above in the map view and kind of see what this looks like. 
So what is this rock right here on the map? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to expand the wall a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and... nine is the max so they're gonna go one past this so we'll just do we'll start lining them up down here So we, yeah, we still got all. We're really looking at this now. There's a lot of work that still still needs to be done on this vineyard. So, oh, I'm not meaning to grab olive trees. That's not supposed to be happening. There we go. So you can grab more than nine, that is amazing. And that's really going to help out a lot for what I'm doing here. Because this wall goes all the way down, so... Thank you for letting me know that tip. That is uh, very helpful. Very, very helpful. I've wasted a lot of resources instead of I could have just done something like this. Yeah, I'm actually moving all 30 walls. That is incredible. Okay, so we're lined up right here. Yeah, this is perfect room and distance for what I'm doing here. So with the walls I just grabbed, this should give us the walls all the way down. We'll have to fill in on the other side though from the north to south because we expanded that part. Okay, so we're good there. And a couple of those are going to turn into uh, the doorways. We'll go ahead and turn it around the rock here. There's nothing wrong with that. that way. So I wonder, yeah, you can move different objects too. That is unbelievable. Well, let's see how this works. So we got Cypress first. Yeah, you actually take them in order. That is really awesome. That is such a great tip. Thanks for letting me know that. That is unbelievable. Very cool. We got a stranded. Oh no, that olive tree is supposed to be there. Okay. So, what this is essentially is we're expanding the vineyard further. 
Um, and it's part of a big plan to actually make this a very specific location. And I'll show what it is eventually. It's not. It's. I don't think it's going to be done in this episode. It's just going to be too pricey um, to do it in this episode alone. So, and then I also wanted to look at the. Um, I wanted to look at the roadways, the slate roadways, to see if that might look really nice here in this section. So yeah, just expanding the vineyard. Um, it's going to go all the way down and around this mound. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big operation, but like I said before, this is not going to be a permanent uh, place. So, okay, let's go ahead and do that doorway. So I was going to do the stone door here, and then I was going to wrap the stone wall around that. Like so. And then we'll just keep tilling, till all the way down. These are just going to be huge rows of, of uh, grapes. And I believe it's going to end at a certain point, and I'm going to have to take a look at what that's going to really look like. So I'll have to go and move the grouping of six olive trees over there in a second. Uh, a lot of stuff is going to be moved around here though, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so just looking at the center, so probably right about here is going to be a doorway as well. So we'll just delete that. Put a doorway there. Okay. Okay, so that's good for now. So what we'll do is... I'd like to see a walkway. Stone trail. Slate trail. So let's take a look at these kind of lined up next to each other. Let's just see what this really looks like. And then, so that's the... Slate trail, this is a stone trail. Interesting. So I want to take a look at them actually in between the vineyard just to get a good example there. So we'll just do three and then three. And that was stone the slate here. I don't know how I feel about the roadways being in, in the vineyard. I don't think I like it. I'm going to leave it just as is. It just doesn't have that good of a look. I think the grass is better. But over here, I do need a walkway still, so... I think I'm going to do the slate. It, the stone is nice because it matches the rock color. But it doesn't... It looks kind of primitive. It doesn't look like a... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, I'm doing that with the slate. There's no reason to get rid of them. Uh, they're not staying there, but for now I'm just gonna move them, and set them right up here. I'll just leave them there for now. Okay, so getting into decoratives, there's something I want to do here. It's gonna be a lot more work than what it's at right now, but it'll be worth it in time. Okay. Okay, so I got what I need here. I 
Actually, I might turn that. These are nice, I like these. Ooh, they're expensive. 40 gems per, that's pricey. We'll just do four for now. So I'm interested in these planters. They're 40, yeah, that one's 40 gems a piece. I like that color. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna turn this house uh, a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna put the house up here. This might actually be pretty cool. Let me see what this looks like up here. It's better. So I want to get a couple of these planters. Just one on each side. Uh, that blocks the walkway. We'll move that. We'll just put in flowers. Oh, those are some new ones we haven't seen before. I don't want to see those. That's spoiler. Um, let's do a duo of hydrangeas, I think. Let's go Annabelle. And then let's do Annabelle and purple. And then... Those are a hundred and fifty apiece, dang. I know, kitty, the decoratives are expensive. No, I'm just not feeling that right now. We'll go ahead and leave that the way it is. Um, it's a part of a bigger thing, but we're not going to worry about it just right now. Um, okay, let's get back to the rows. So let's see, from there we have one, two, three, four, and then five. So if we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So we'll get back doing our tilling for the, uh, the vineyard in total. It's going to be a big project, but like all big projects, they become worth it. I think it'd be amazing if I could set up an, uh, an entire sprinkler system in the corn maze and get the corn maze to be a constant flow of income. That's a big operation.
It feels so strange going from tractor work to back to using a hoe and sometimes a watering can. It's just, it's, it's not the normal feel of the game. You get so used to using a tractor for everything. It feels funny to come back to this. Yeah, this is actually going to be really nice. I'm really liking this area so far. And the funny thing is, is that after taking a look at the property to the west of here, um, it matches with this property already. So I already know what that idea is going to be over there, and actually it, it might even play in, in line with the DLC that I'm going to be getting, because I'm going to be buying all the DLCs for this game. And as far as I know, it, after looking at some of the DLCs, there's a DLC in there that will be a perfect fit in addition to this area right here, but going over into that next property. I'm actually pretty excited about it. I hope I hope it turns out nice. So I don't know how on the on the sides that the mound is blocking, I don't think I'm going to come too far back over here. Like I'm not going to do a tiny little strip of in, uh, uh, grapes right here. Like my example is I would be going two over. I'm not going to do this little tiny strip. That to me is not worth it. And over there it's filled all the way in. So I'm just going to leave those spots the way they are. Because that's just pointless. Since we're doing just tilling and it only costs 10 gold per, I wonder how long it would take for, uh, I'm going to leave that one actually empty too. Uh, let's leave actually both, of, all three of these empty. Um, I wonder how long it would take to make the one point, the one zero in the one point one zero million to make it go down a notch from tilling at 10 gold per. <laughs> Felt like a really long summer for some reason. So there's two properties to the left of this vineyard. So actually, they both uh, will work for my idea. Just looking at that now, that's kind of shocking that they both are pretty much perfect for what I'm looking for. And if that DLC works out all right the way I intend it to, um, that's going to be a pretty cool setup. I have some pretty good plans for that one. Yeah, 
yeah, this is a huge operation now. Okay, so what I'd like to do while I have it on my mind, let's go ahead and get a wonder. I'm going to have to take a look at something really quick online. Please bear with me. Okay, so I've actually got a kind of new idea. So basically what I was doing is I was just looking up the style of trees that are actually found in, uh, say, a, like, area of Europe, whether it be Italy or uh, Croatia or really any, any of these places. Um, what I was picturing was what type of trees grow in that region. And I'm going to be adding some cherry trees to the mix out here um, where I don't really know yet I don't think I'm gonna put them on the outer wall just because the colors I don't know if those will look good together but I want to bring in some cherries into the mix as well because that'll help out a lot so I think w what I'm gonna do for now is I'm just gonna do the regular I'm gonna do olive and uh, cypress back and forth so we'll start with olives because they're a little bit more expensive I did not mean to get rid of that. We need that there. We will not have trees there, so we'll go ahead and add our next tree. I guess just over here, honestly. It doesn't really... We can put a cypress here. Yeah, then we'll just do cypress back and forth, just like we had it. Um, and then this way... This area is its own little area, and it's got a wall surrounding it, it's got trees kind of as a barrier, so, you know, surrounding it. And then internally, like I said, just all throughout, I'm going to be throwing in some cherry trees, because I guess that's another popular tree to the region out there. So I was specifically looking at Italy, just because, um, you know, this is like a Roman style, maybe Greek style in architecture with the different stones around and adding those pillars uh, the vineyard obviously and then just having the, the olive trees in here like this so um, just kind of having a little border a little private area out here for all this so I don't know what season we're in what we're gonna be able to do yeah see we're in blue grape season so I think I'm gonna wait to actually plant the uh, to plant the uh, grapes but uh, what I can do as well is start to kind of play around with the idea that I had up here So 
so I'll go ahead and take uh, let's turn that one there immediately. Now let's move that one here. And a tree or the football can go behind that, so I think I'm gonna leave those as is. I would like to get it right up behind them. I didn't know you could do that, so I'm gonna move these behind the trees that way they are a part of the maze as well. So, the, uh, essentially, what this is is just like a, like a cool little hedge maze. You know, I, I know that the, the hedges aren't very tall, um, especially in comparison to the character, but it's just more for show, it's just decorative. I like, I like doing things like this. Uh, I got the idea just from uh, originally from putting up the uh, the hedge walls as I did, and kind of just went forward with it there. Um, I think it looked it looked really cool, especially with like the fountain. Uh, it reminds me of a scene in in Resident Evil. There's a there's a part in Resident Evil Four where there is a hedge maze, and it's just a really kind of ominous place. And uh, I, li I like the idea of it, so I thought this would be a pretty cool idea as well. Just to have it in here. It's not going to look exactly like a hedge maze, but it really can't in a game like this. So I just figured I'd add this in as well. We'll put these edges all the way around. outer and inner wall. Complete circle. Like so. Sorry if that mower outside is loud. to kind of add another effect of having walls all over because it feels like I'm kind of limited with space in this region so I figure if I wall off the trees that'll add more hedges which will in turn make it look a little bit more sophisticated in this area so it's going to be simple it's just it's not not anything too crazy I just thought it'd be cool to have a little maze up here hedge maze so up here, um, I'm, I'm just going to do the arches and the bush walls around the uh, entrances to this little just hangout area when you get up here. 
But I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna keep this simple. I'm not gonna go too crazy with that bit of up here. It's just supposed to be a fun little idea. I think my next biggest goal in this farm is really to start maximizing potential in gems. Because when I start decorating, I just start flying through gems and I really don't like it. I wish I could get a little bit more decorating done. I have a lot of ideas, uh, things that I really want to get going here. So I'll just put some cypress around here. I'm not going to do olives up here. Uh, I just want it to be tall trees. I could put in a little bit of pine, but let's go ahead and do um, and then we, yeah, we can throw in some pine around here, just to kind of wall it off, make it a little secretive up here. Just like that. Nothing too crazy, just thought it'd be fun. Little hedge maze. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna wait on the grapes. I think we'll have to wait till it should be winter. Spring, summer. Spring, winter. So I guess we'll just wait till spring and we'll just do the reds and greens all the way through. Uh, but we'll we'll wait. Well, that'll be until I won't I won't do it this this episode. I'll wait until the next one. So yeah, this is this is what this is gonna be here. Um, it still is gonna have you know work in progress just because it's not set up fully the way I want it to be. I mean, I'm probably gonna scatter some of these trees throughout this walkway as well. Kind of the cypress. Probably do. Probably do just olive trees on this on this walkway, this entryway. Doesn't have to be anything special. I mean, two. It's supposed to be two in between. No one in between. Okay. Yeah, just scatter. Oh, and then cherries. I don't want to forget about the cherries. So let me go look at that. So cherry trees. We'll just kind of put these random places as well. Uh, they're going to be scattered throughout, just like how we scattered um, di different trees all throughout this area. We're going to be just putting, scattering some trees out in this area as well. It's kind of like this, just, just at random. I want to put a couple cherry trees around this little pond here. more right there and then I think a couple cherry trees right up here on this property will look nice and then maybe down below it put in like some cypress kind of alternate them just so that the house has a little bit of uh, privacy and then we'll do some olive trees right there I was thinking of doing, yeah, let's do the same thing on the back here, just, just so that way, they, like I said, the house has some privacy, and then we'll do all of back and forth, kind of trickle the olives through here as well, and so essentially what this, uh, what this home is here, this home is, is what it is, is the guy is basically, so like down south of the Venatucci farm, we have a guy who, you know, he's a part of the farm, but the whole concept is, is that they run their own little operation, and it's more, I think what this, what this farm has become a little bit more than maybe was originally intended, is it's going to be like, a community, a large community of different farmers, 
different landscapes, different areas, people produce different things. And what it would look like in the big scale is that it's a community with people who have different trades, different knowledge in, uh, in uh, nursery and growing. And what they do is they, um, they specialize in their area. So this guy who's out here, he specializes in um, vineyard type stuff and anything to do with grapes and the trees of this region so and and you could consider him being like a, a like a uh, guardian or uh, not a guardian um what is it called a groundskeeper for this area so he lives here and he tends to all of the maintenance and stuff out here and i think it's just cool just because all of the work being done by you know just one person doesn't really make a lot of sense not, not to me it's not that it doesn't make sense to me i get it for some people want to do that but for me the way i want to play it is i want to have it to be where it's a little bit more realistic and even though i'll be harvesting and planting everything it's more of just like a just a concept thing it's kind of like that's where the decoration the, the decoration comes into play is because it's like you're doing it because you're using your imagination. You're you're allowing a, an area to have a certain um, quality or aspect to it that can't really be visualized by the video game. So you're just adding that little extra effect to it. And I'll just scatter cherry trees throughout here as well. It'll add, it'll actually will add some color to this area, which is pretty nice. This is not going to be bad at all. And uh, yeah, this is this is what I've been planning for this area for a little while so I think this is turning out great obviously I want to see everything uh, grown and ready to harvest and see how that looks when that's all ready I think that's gonna look great so I'll put just cherry trees just kind of around the property they don't have to be I might do a couple you know little bundles of them or something like right around here just do a little bushel that way there's a little bit more you can harvest at a time but really just kind of scattering things just like we did. A lot of this a lot of these trees are going to be decorative one day, so it's not that you have to run around and harvest each individual little tree. That would be just too tedious. So kind of just making things look good. Um I think I'm going to put a couple cherry trees up here if there's space. Just so we can technically put one right there in that little heck crevice. Um not too many spaces. We can go ahead and put one there, and then we'll just put the bush wall around it. Actually, no, I really don't like the look of that. I'm going to delete that. And I'll just move the tree. We'll put it right here. That would be a nice spot for it. Up top, I think, is fine. We've already got a good amount of color kind of blending these trees in together. So and then, and what we didn't do is over in this region, we'll just kind of sprinkle in some more olive trees and um, cypress trees wherever we get some space. And that way, this this area is just nice and flourishing and looks good. Just kind of scatter these trees. I'll just get some random cypress trees up here too. I think that looks good. I'm gonna leave that as is. Uh, we spent a chunk of money. Let's go ahead and go check out the animals in that whole situation. 
I don't expect too much to be done. Yeah, the mini Rexes, they take a long time. Four hours. That's a long time for rabbits. There's actually quite a bit over here that needed harvesting. I was kind of shocked by that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do was expand the flower region a little bit. And then maybe retract it a little bit as well. So I want to get the... I want to get the roadway or the bush arches down a little bit, but I'm trying to think of the best place for them, so... Um, the, I think the bakery is going to have to move eventually because it's just not working right there. To me, this seems like a passing through area, not a big old baker uh, spot for a big old bakery. So it's tough right now. I'm, I'm wondering. I got a lot of ideas for this area too, but I just can't do it all right now. Um, I really don't want the bakery to be there though, so... I think what I'll do for now is I'll go ahead and expand the wall out a little bit. So I'm actually going to expand the wall out this way too. Uh, tile is already in use. Oh, by these lights. Okay. So we'll just move these. And then I just want to see what we can do here because I would like to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, so it's going to be used from that too. Let's put the garden lights... Oh, you can't put them right there. That's too bad. We'll uh, we'll set these off to the side for now. I don't want to get rid of them. We'll use them, but not right now. Okay, so just kind of grabbing these. Yeah, and I feel like this needs to be expanded outwards. It just is not enough room. I think I grabbed that. Yeah, I grabbed that flower right there. Grabbed it again. There we go. So if you get really close up next to it, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I just want to expand it probably to, I think to right here is going to be plenty for me. So, and then we'll just merge it through the little crick there. We'll make that a bush arch. And this is giving us space not only from that other side, but from this this front side is going to be more important. This is going to be the bigger chunk uh, that it's actually giving us. So let's go ahead and start to expand this as well. I'm just going to take this whole wall and kind of expand it outwards a little bit. And then I think I'm going to retract it from the kind of the forested area, the Washington type area. I didn't want the flowers to be right so close up to that. So that was kind of a just a little mess up on my part. I just I wasn't prepping for that, and when I saw it, I was like, "Those those two areas don't ma match next to each other." What does match is having this really cool little creek going through uh, this flower area. I think that's a really cool feature. 
So I'm gonna continue to have this this way, and then it's probably it's probably gonna go honestly right up to the edge of this this creek and where this leads to. So what I don't know is how far I'm gonna push it, cause I'm gonna pull back from that that state region up there. I want to call it like almost a uh, a res not not a resort. It's gonna be like a uh, like a state park or something like that. I think is the best way to describe it. So I think what we'll do is we'll line it up with that right up there. I think you can see how the hedge lines up over there. And it'll just give us a little bit of spacing. It's not a big, big deal, but I did want to change this. I didn't want the, I didn't want this and the the Washington area to be so close. It just turned out that way. It wasn't really my intention. So we'll just move this all over. We'll probably have too many walls actually. Just looking at it. So from this wall here, actually we'll go, yeah, we'll still go from this wall, it'll, it'll look fine. I think I still will go, no, I'll just go through these, but we'll see what that looks like just going through the little creek. So if it just flows through, I think I like that better. I think that looks better. So I'll go ahead and just get rid of these over here. The bush arch can go. Uh, we'll just grab, can I grab these all and delete them all at once? No, nah, just one at a time. Okay, so I'll get rid of, I'll not get rid of this one, but I'll move this one over here, and then we'll get rid of this one. Okay, so I'll just start to kind of slowly move this stuff over. I'm not going to worry about the color formations just yet, because all this stuff is going to have to get moved around. So I'll just kind of move whatever I can over here. Get rid of that. And just put in a wall there. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, looks good, looks good. There's a wall over here I need to change. Oh, the bush arch. I'll have to move that. Right here. And then I think I'll start with the bush arch here as well. That way we have an extra entrance from this side. And then I think I'll do... Yeah, I'm going to do an entrance here too. Okay. 
yeah, I like this. This has definitely got a better look to it so far. It's a big area, but I know there's going to be a lot of flowers, so I just want to prepare for it. Because we'll have to do it eventually. I just wanted to take a look at our crop real quick. We got a lot of pink peppercorns, that's awesome. Well, we got the flower patch mood, we got the, ooh, the vineyard looks so nice from the map. That looks awesome. Um... I think I'm good for this episode, I know that it's shorter, uh, but that's kind of the whole point, is just to, to kind of get in here and get some of this stuff done that I don't normally do in the regular episodes. It seems like it's just uh, getting decoratives and stuff done and trying to uh, build new areas is going to be pretty tough to do during the actual episodes. Just because of how much work there is becoming um, on the farm in general. It's actually start starting to become kind of hard to keep up with all of this stuff in just one episode. So I think I might actually continue doing this. I might do um, just uh, in between maybe three episodes do um, with a mini Rex Rabbit. Very nice. That was a big boost. Um, in between the episodes do uh, kind of a simplified version. It's an episode done right after a regular one and where I just come in and do all the things that I that I feel like I, I don't have time for in the regular ones. And I think that'll start to help out a lot. So obviously we just got peanuts. I'm just going to harvest these and get something else planted down here. So, we did some sorghum, but it's expensive. Let's do some azoichkas. We're still only at level 9. We'll get those leveled up a little bit better. I know what we can do. We'll go get our stages, and then we'll get off this episode. We'll do the stages in our uh, kitchen. Forgot about that. Okay, so this is ready. The fish and chips. So there's two more stages on the cheesecake. We'll do... Let's do pizza. We haven't done it yet. Ah, oh, but it takes cheese. I think we'll wait on that, but so does cheesecake. I'm gonna I'm gonna stray away from those. We don't need any extra cheese being taken. I'm gonna do the stuff that we have abundance of. Let's just do veggie skewers. That's easy. So yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Um, I just want to get on and do this because I feel like I don't want to start to fall behind in uh, moving things around and getting you know new areas prepped and ready for like a new stage of building I just want to be able to um, focus on the main stuff that we do all the time and then also get on to do some nice decoratives moving things around and uh, a little honestly a little bit more of the tedious stuff is what I'm gonna do in these episodes then I'll maybe label it like that too like I'll just put into the to the description of it that it's a um, uh, well, I'll, I'll come up with something. I'll come up with a term to use to um, get 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 that categorized to where you know what video you're looking at. Because if you'd rather see more of the the regular gameplay, then you can just watch the regular episodes. But I will I will mark them as a little different because obviously we didn't get on and harvest uh, really much of anything. We had a few things that needed it, but I just needed to do this to make sure I don't fall behind on my uh, decorative side. 
I don't want to let that fall behind. Eventually it'll become to, to where I, I didn't prep or plan for too much. And I want to have this all pretty even uh, for when that time comes. So we're very close to getting the Blowfish quest, and I'm pretty sure that's a big one. Um, should be a couple more fish ready to uh, harvest here, and then we'll go ahead and end the episode there. Okay, cool, we're good. So, um... So yeah, go ahead and um, and keep an eye out for these videos. They're gonna be I'm gonna label them differently. I'm gonna still label it gameplay, but I'm gonna put in some other keyword in there that's gonna be more for um, just kind of watching some of the the big changes, the big move moves in the farm and all that. Um, but stay tuned for the new game that I'm gonna be releasing tonight. I think most people will enjoy it. It's a really really good game. Uh, they put a lot of work into it. It's very complex. It's going to take some time to get the to understand it. I would say a little bit better because it's it's a pretty slow progressing game, but it's it's very very fun. I've played it for about three no, yeah about four four years now. So um, I hope you guys will enjoy that one. I'm pretty sure you will. And just stay tuned for any of the new updates I have. And uh, if you subscribe, you know, put that notification for um, the all notifications. That way, every time a video is released, you will get a notification for it uh, specifically. Because a lot of the times, some of these smaller channels kind of get left in the subscription menu uh, far behind. So uh, it really help out a lot to, to have that on there. Um, and then that way, everything that I release is getting, uh, getting to you. Because I know... When you watch Just Farm Together videos, you might not get recommended for some of my other titles. But um, if you know if you enjoy watching watching me watching me play these games, um, I, I play some really really cool games. It's a wide variety too, so um, there there's something out there for everybody. But um, I hope you guys enjoy watching and join me in the next one.